after what seems like forever, we finally have our Volkswagen ALH TDI or AHU to the Toyota R150 manual transmission. And one of the things that has come up already is, man, why is the adapter plate so thick? Why is it two pieces? Well, there's two basic reasons. One, um, to accommodate the factory Toyota uh, V6 flywheel. And in order to do that, we had to adapt from a six or an eight bolt pattern on the Toyota side to a six bolt pattern on the Volkswagen side. And the only way to do that, because naturally some of the holes would interfere with each other, we made a two piece crank adapter to go from Volkswagen crankshaft to Toyota flywheel. And in order to accommodate all of that, the plate actually ended up being um, fairly thick. It's nearly two inches. Uh, secondly, some of the bell housing bolts on the V6 actually would interfere with the the location of the block fasteners to go from the adapter plate to the Volkswagen. And you could rotate the engine more, um, but you can only do it in one direction to clear the holes. If you go any further in a clockwise fashion as you're facing it, the starter and the, the, the turbo would interfere even more with the starter, um, which is really, really close as it is. Uh, it is helpful that the thickness of the plate does push the turbo further away. It just it separates them a little bit more from the back of the starter. Um, and if you were going to rotate it the other way, you'd have to go quite a ways with the engine to get that to clear. So our answer, at least, was to make a second uh, plate, bolt B to A, uh, A being the plate to the engine and B being the, uh, the portion that bolts to the trans. And it actually allows for uh, every single fastener on the bell housing to be retained. So, <clears throat> so what does that actually look like? And it looks about like this. Everything we do, we model first in a, uh, a 3D modeling CAD program, and then we'll simply 3D print them uh, to get a basic idea of fitment. And then the final version is actually 7075 aluminum, two pieces. Uh, this attaches to the back of the Volkswagen using factory fasteners, so they, if you lose or damage one, you can, they're easy to source. Part B um, bolts directly to that, and then this uses the OEM fasteners from Toyota, so you can bolt your V6 flywheel right back on. All of the threaded portions have a thread cert, and that is basically to preserve the threads Thread certs simply hold up better to repeated use than aluminum. Um, has a factory pilot bearing, and installation is pretty straightforward, and looks like this.